What's going on everyone? If you stream over on Twitch and you use OBS Studio as your streaming encoder, there's going to be a new feature in OBS Studio 30.2's update, and that's going to be enhanced broadcasting. Essentially what this is going to be is allowing us to use our hardware, so our graphics card. Currently you can only use an NVIDIA graphics card from the 900 series all the way up to the current version of the NVIDIA cards, and you're basically going to be using that to process the transcoding. So instead of it being the traditional way that Twitch does it, where you're either a Twitch affiliate or a Twitch partner, and they give you the option of transcoding and it goes through their data center and all their stuff, then it's now being put onto the streamer. So that's one thing. So if you don't have really good hardware, this might not work out for you, but it's still something to try. Now there is an article here that they do kind of go over some information. I do recommend you looking at the FAQs as it does have a lot of good information in here and some pretty good questions that are answered, but it does mention here for multiple client side encodes. Transcoding is a process that creates multiple video qualities of your original high quality streamed content. Providing multiple video qualities enables viewers experiencing poor network conditions and those watching on older devices to watch your content without buffering. So that's really nice that they're giving us almost like a guarantee that we're going to be able to have the transcoding. Now, one of the other things too, is it's going to be going side by side with the traditional transcoding method that Twitch already gives us. So that's actually really good that we could still kind of like have a, a backup if our side isn't working for the transcoding and then vice versa. So let's go ahead and actually set it up in OBS. So once you have OBS, 30.2 updated and everything installed, go to your settings. And in, in settings, we're gonna to go to video first and we wanna make sure that our base canvas and our output is gonna be the resolution that we want to stream at the highest. So if it's 1080p or 720p, whatever the case may be, you wanna make sure that these both are matching. And then for your FPS, you can change that to 60 or 30. Now, once you have that set up, then we're gonna go over to stream and this is where you're gonna see multi-track video. So we're gonna enable the enhanced broadcasting and for maximum streaming bandwidth, this is gonna be the bandwidth that you want the highest resolution to be. So for me, I'm gonna uncheck auto and I'm gonna change this to 6,000, which is essentially six upload speed. Now for your maximum video tracks, this is going to be how many different resolutions you want your stream to be able to have. So if you want 1080p to be your max and then 720p and then 480p or whatever the case may be, you can go ahead and uncheck auto and then set it to like three or four or five and it's gonna give different resolutions and everything like that. So once you have that all set up, just hit apply, hit okay, and then you're all set. Now I'm also gonna be linking a video of my buddy Terry. He's got a video that goes into this exact stuff as well and he does give some really good insight and some really good information. So definitely check out that video. Make sure you subscribe to him as well. He's a really good creator. So I really recommend you guys, you know, showing him some of that support as well. But let me know in the comment section below, are you gonna try this out? Are you excited for this new feature? Do you think this is cool that we're getting some almost guaranteed transcoding for Twitch? I'm excited for it. But we wanna hear from you guys. We wanna hear your experience. Let's talk about it in the comments. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to follow me over on Twitch for streams, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.